Okay, there it goes. Now, am I recording? I'm not sure. Nope, I don't think it did. Let me check. Let me make sure. Oh, yeah, it did. Captions, English. Fine, we're doing that. Caption setting. Captions will look like this. Fine, that's good with me. Okay, so let me close all this, make sure. All right, so we have seven people and they're unrelated. So for this answer, we have seven unrelated people. And the probability that they'll have O positive blood is 0.38. Okay, and we want to find equals 0.38. We want to find the probability that, and we're choosing how many? Let's go back to our At least one has O positive blood. So what we do with at least one, do you remember how the at least one worked? Do you remember the complement to that? One minus P? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or one minus the probability? Of what? Of none uh, okay. have... That's an equal sign. Yeah, the, so this, are you talking about... Yeah, on the left side of this, this is the probability. I think what you mean is the probability of at least one person with O positive blood, right? equals, and it should be actually equals here. Oops. I need to make a space in there. There we go. One minus probability that none have. O positive. Blood, positive, blood. So here, here we are, okay? So now what also is helpful to know here is something that we calculated in the last tutoring session. If the probability that one person has O positive blood is 0.38, then the probability of not having O positive blood is equal to, we calculated this already, but we, we need this for this question. So I'm gonna put it up here. Um, this is equal to one minus, 0.38, which is 0.62, okay? So here, what we're looking for is mm -hmm. we're looking at equals, what do you say? Um, I didn't say anything. Hmm. One minus, now we're we're selecting seven people and none of them have O positive blood. So how are we gonna find that? Um uh we have to times it by the seventh power. Okay. And what what percentage are we gonna use? Are we gonna use sixty-two or thirty-eight? None of these people 62. have O positive blood. 62? 62, right. So we do that. And we take this to the 
seventh power. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the probability, and if you want to write the left side in a little more mathematical way, you can say that this is, you can write this as the probability that X, your person, is greater than or equal, greater than or equal to one, which is, I think some people in the chat wrote that. If you're typing it, you can write it like that. Now let's do the calculation and see what comes out. So we get new. I need to pull up the calculator. Give me a moment here. Don't have it open yet. So this is um okay, so this is going to be I'm gonna new share this. So we have one minus, and remember here, this is not raw data, so you just worry about the decimal. We don't have to worry about um, the uh, the percentage, the percentage, and the fraction, and all that. So okay. we get nine six four eight. This would round because this seven has an eight behind it. So point nine six four eight is your. Is your answer there? Answer. Okay, so this is this is equal to zero point nine six four eight. Okay, that's part of that one. Hmm. Any questions about this? No? Okay, let's nope. go to the next part. Let's go to the next part of this, which is... Uh, no, no, no questions. Okay, so the next part says, at most two, at most two, have O positive. At most two, have O positive blood. So in this case, we're going to do, you're going to say the probability that probability that at most two, have O positive blood, right? Is going to imply that two is the maximum. So you have, we're adding some probabilities together here. So we're gonna have to find a couple of them, right? So we have the probability that zero, probability of zero, Okay, plus the probability of one. Plus the probability of two. Because at most two have O positive blood. So now, what does this imply? Well, we already know what zero would be. Zero means that all seven don't have O positive blood. So the probability of zero, we have three separate miniature terms to do. I'm gonna do them separately underneath 
the calculation here, just for clarity. So the probability of zero means that all seven have different blood than O positive, right? So that means I'm looking at 0.62 to the seventh power. That's the first term of this answer. Okay, so we've already calculated the first term, but that's only the first part of this. Now, the probability that um, that one person has it and six people don't, okay? So this is going to be, this is going to be probability of one is going to be equal to one person has it. So here's my one person who has it, 30, 38, right, 38. And then I have six people who don't. So I'm going to multiply by six people who don't have it, which is 62, times the six people who don't have it. Huh? And if I'm looking at two people, then here I'm looking at probability that Two people are O positive. So here's 38. These are two people that have it. So I'm going to do, whoops, 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 whoops. Hold on. I'm going to have two people that have it. So this is going to be two there. And remember, we're choosing a total of seven. So we have the other five people who don't. And we're going to have to add those up so that we can figure out what to do there. So I'm going to go ahead now and put these in the calculator, add them up, okay? And most two have O positive blood. So I have, let's go to the calculator here. Let's clear this out. So we're going to have Point. In the first case, we have no people, so 62 to the 7. Okay. And plus, here we have one person who has it, and six people who don't, so point. 62 to the 6, or, whoops, my plus needs to be down here, and go to the right, plus 0.38. I can't see the calculator. Oh, my apologies. Whatever I'm screen sharing is not, okay, there we go. How about right. now? See it now? Let me go back. So point yep. sixty two to the seventh plus point thirty eight times point sixty two to the to the sixth plus and I think that's where I stopped typing, 0. 0.38 to 
to the second power. Times point sixty two to the fifth. Okay. Wait, hold on. What comes after the seventh power? Point thirty eight. Well, okay. So let me scroll back here. So we have point sixty two to All the right. seven. Plus point thirty eight times point sixty two to the sixth power. So that's my second term. Okay. And then Point thirty eight to the second power times point sixty two to the fifth. Where did the where did the second and fifth power come from? Because I need at most two people, right? So I have zero people with O and everybody with not O. Or I have one person with O and six people with something else. Or I have two people with O and five people with something else. So this is like saying, this is like saying this. Um, I got a different answer. This is like saying okay, we'll do it again right now. I could have a mistake. Let's see. But where I'm getting it from is I'm doing the probability of zero with type O plus Zero with type O and seven with other or or probability of one with O positive and six with other or Oh wait, I got the answer. I probability of Two with O. <clears throat> and five with other. Okay. That's yep. where it's coming from. And when you work that all out, when you work out those percentages that you just saw me do on the calculator, it's zero point. I think it's zero zero seven. Is that right? Let's see. Do I got zero zero seven? Zero zero seven a zero seven, sorry, zero seven zero zero. Yeah, zero seven zero zero is our she wants it to four, so it's gonna be zero seven zero zero. This is gonna be this answer, yeah. So we're gonna write zero is This is zero seven zero zero. Yeah. Okay. And I think we have one more part after this, don't we? Questions about this yep. part. Um 
just asking where for probability two, mm -hmm. where the two, where the second and fifth power came from. Okay. So remember, we chose seven people, right? Mm -hmm. If at most two have O positive blood, I need two people, right? Two of them. So at, so at two of them are O positive. Two. So so if you look at my term down here right here two of them are o positive so two of them have the 38 but i'm choosing seven people right so if two of them have o positive then five of them do not uh oh This is kind of like that committee problem we had. Remember where we had like 11 people on a committee and there were five women and two, something like that. Something similar. Except that instead of having the total breakdown, we have the percentage of people. Hold on, you cut off. I said instead of having the fractions, we have the percentages of people. 38% are type O and 62 are not. Five of them are oh. in the not category. Okay. Oh. Okay. I get it now. And I believe there's one more piece to this. Yep. Right. Let's take a look at it. Um, here it is. Says exactly six will have O positive blood. Okay. <laughs> exactly six. What do you think we would do there? Equal. Okay. Right. And how would we find the probability of exactly six in that case. I think I forgot this one because I was getting help um yesterday. Okay. So I did C's number one and two. I just wanted to make sure if they were correct. Okay. Well, if you're doing if you're doing six people, right? Then you have mm -hmm. six people that have O positive blood. So you have six people that are at 0.38. And how many people that don't have it? Because we're seven. choosing seven people, right? Yep. So how many, how many would not have it in that seven. case? There's a total of seven, right? If six of them have O positive oh, blood, one. then one person doesn't, right? So how would I find the probability that six mm -hmm. of them do and one of them doesn't? What would I say? That one of them doesn't have O positive blood type? Mm-hmm. What would I say? How would I do it? Is that it? Okay, so here, here's what it looks like. Let's do, let's... One minus... Mm, you don't need the complement here. You just need what I'm asking you, and you had it right. What this is asking you is, you have you have a total of seven people. Six people are O positive. Whoops. Six people are O positive. That means one person is other, right? So how do I find the probability that six people are O positive? Probability of six people being O positive is just six plus one 
six people being all positive, right? Means that I'm gonna have, remember that's our point 38. And there's mm -hmm. six of those, right? So I'm gonna have six people here that are O positive, and I have one person who's not, right? So I'm gonna Times multiply this. Hmm? Yeah, take it so to six. the power of six, and then you multiply it by what's the probability that it's something else? Probability that we're something else is point it by one. 62, right, uh-huh. But you have to do, this is the first power, which is just, you can write it if it helps you. It's not necessary, but if it helps, you certainly can. It's not wrong to do that. So this is point 38 to the sixth and point 62 to the first. So now you just stick it in the calculator and let's see what we get. We get 0. 0.32 or 38 rather, sorry, 0. 0.38 to the sixth power. I don't see the I don't see the calculator screen. Let me thank you for telling me. It has a tendency to not do that when I switch. How about now? Okay. Yeah. Do you see it? Uh, I don't see it yet. No. Hmm. Let me try. No, one I don't more. see it. Let me try I one more see. time. Let me try one more time. Yeah. Uh, okay. So share screen. Calculator. Share it. Okay. Says I'm sharing it. Let's see if it'll load for me. It says my screen share is loading. It's taking its own sweet time. I might have to. I don't know why. Hmm. Let me see something. Let me do here. Let me do something with this. I think we're having a technical, not the internet. I think it's just a glitch with because I have so many windows open. Let me take a look and see if this is, let me close some of these so I can close out the cloud here. And okay, let's try one more time. Let me open it. and pull the screen, the Zoom screen up and see if this helps at all. Share screen. Why, why are you not loading? It says it's, hmm, I wonder if, let me see. How about now? Do you see anything? Yes. Okay. Yes, I see so everything. So we have, we have 0.38 to the sixth. Let me start back here. Because I didn't put my, it's not absolutely necessary, but I wanted to be consistent with what I was doing. So let me do parenthesis. And I'm going to do parenthesis here so I go yeah. so we have six people with typo blood and we have one person who doesn't have it which is point 62 and that becomes point zero zero one nine zero zero one and the six behind the eight becomes a nine so point zero zero one nine okay 
So this is. Uh -huh. Does that match the answer that you got? Yeah. Good job. And I think we're done with that. Good deal. Yep. Nice work, Jason. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Yep, thanks. Of course. How's the homework coming in chapter five? Um, I finished. I haven't started 5.2 yet. Okay. No problem. You have some time. You have some time. We have, remember, we have quite a bit of video support for that because quite a few of the tutoring sessions, um, Giovanna was working on it and then the other student who was here was working on it. So there is quite a bit of support for that. If you go and you watch uh, the tutoring session from uh, the other day when you were working on this, she was working on exercises from there. So there's only nine questions, but they are a little bit lengthy. So it takes some time, but they're quite repetitive as well. So I think once you see it, you'll be, uh, you'll be in pretty good shape. Okay. All right. And remember, yep. we do have um, you. You. We do have tutoring tomorrow night as well. So if you're free tomorrow night, you're welcome to come. Okay. Okay. All right, Jason. Sure thing. Take care. We'll see you. Okay. All right. I need Jason's. Uh, Jason's. Uh, Jason, Jason, 